Today we're going to go over the functionality of Cerner Registration Management Solution. It's intended for users that are using Cerner Registration Management applications in their daily workflow. We're going to go over the PM Office layout, the organizer view, and the conversation bar, and then we're also going to cover the work list bar. We're going to log into this application. Just use your username and password. And you should be logging in as a registration clerk. Now we are in PM Office. There are some important layout items to note within PM Office, which would include the title bar. The title bar basically displays the application that you're in, and you can see it right here. You're in Access Management Office. The menu bar provides a list of menu options, including tasks, you, groups, and help. The toolbar are buttons that are available to you to use as shortcuts. You can hover over the button and it'll give you a small description about what that button may do. Like this button here, locks. You can recover conversations or you can rent schedule. The list bar is a navigation pane. All the actions that you'll take within this application will happen right here in the navigation pane. And also the status bar down on the bottom will include information regarding the status of the application, who's logged on, the current date and time. The conversation bar is an important aspect of the PM application. It covers each type of conversation that you'll utilize when registering a patient, including a clinic pre-registration conversation, a clinic registered patient conversation, and a phone message encounter. These are all conversations that will apply to the ambulatory clinics. Some other important pieces of the list bar are the work lists. Some important work lists to point out that you will be utilizing every day inside of the ambulatory clinic settings will include incomplete pre-registrations, MSP follow-ups, interpreter service required, or today's expected arrivals. Another important aspect of registration overview is the organizer view. Within the application, if you go to view and options, you'll have important information that you can define within PM Office on a user level. So you can take out or put in certain list bar applications so your conversations, so your work lists and queries are selected. You can also add work lists if they were pertinent to your job. The bedboard would be an impatient piece, but if you needed to work with that, you could go in here and change the font and or the color. The work lists is another place where you can basically change the font or the color in just certain aspects that maybe you want inside of the application. Also, within each of these work list bars, you can open each one of them up, and they'll open up a view over on the right-hand side of the window pane and list anybody who needs interpretive services that are required. You can also open up more than one list. So now that you can see interpreter services required open up on the top pane, and MSP follow-up will open up on the lower pane. These are all important aspects that you can do and adjust within each one of these panes. This toolbar corresponds to the top pane here, while this toolbar corresponds to the lower pane. 